6 a.m. Happy hump day, everybody. I'm Virginia Chong. I'm Jason Martinez. That is the sun, and you have to go high above the clouds to see it you today. You really do. Isn't this a great shot? Looking over PQ, absolutely beautiful this morning. Some high clouds up there as well, and that's one of the things we're going to see today. A lot more high clouds compared to those low clouds, but I want to get you to some of the low clouds that we're seeing right now. Carlsbad, it's cloudy, but Poway, we are dealing with some fog in your area. Also parts of Escondido and Ramona dealing with visibility about two miles or less in those three areas. Carlsbad visibility about three also in El Cajon, but Fallbrook, Whew, for the third day in a row, it is horrible. Visibility is about a half a mile or less, and it's been like since that since we went on air at 430. Today is going to be much cooler away from our beaches compared to where we've been. Anywhere from 5 to almost 15 degrees cooler. The biggest drop will be in our mountains. Julian and Campo about 12 to 13 degrees cooler, but even Ramona and El Cajon and Escondido 8 to 10 degrees cooler this afternoon. I'm going to pinpoint how cool it's going to be in your neighborhood when I come back in eight minutes. Jason? Breaking overnight, officers doing everything they can to wake up a suspected drunk driver on the 805. You can see them rocking the car. They were banging on the windows. They even put down spike strips put in the case the car, car started rolling. The car Tenure supporter Mimi Akala live in Mountain View. Mimi, that was a very dangerous situation. It really was. That man is so lucky. No one was hurt and he wasn't hurt. This is at the 805 and Imperial off ramp where he was passed out behind the wheel right there waiting for that light to turn green when he fell asleep. Officers say the call came in around three. They got here at 305, started banging on his windows, trying his door handles, anything they could to try to wake him up. Wake up, sir. Only our 10 News breaking news tracker was here as officers threw down those spike strips in front of the tires in case that driver were to suddenly take his foot off the brake and start driving off. But he was passed out in such a deep sleep. Officers had to bang on the windows and shake the car over and over again. Then they tried yelling. Park. Put the car in park. park. Okay, that's okay. Asking the driver over and over to put the car in park and unlock the doors. He eventually woke up. Officers tell me he says he had a clear liquid to drink, but couldn't remember what it was or how much he had. It turns out that driver was already on a five year probation for a prior DUI that he got back in 2013. This morning he is facing DUI charges once again. We're live in Mountain View. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Thank you, Mimi. You know, the video that we just showed you getting a lot of views on our Facebook page this morning. Now, over the past year, you may know photojournalist. Paul Anderig and our 10 News Breaking News Tracker has captured a lot of dramatic video of several suspected drunk drivers passed out on our freeways. Now, in each case, something a little bit different happened. Officers smashing the window here to get to this woman who's passed out and her car is actually rolling. In this case, the woman gets out and she's wandering in and out of moving traffic. And in some cases, look down here at the end, officers as well as Paul getting to the vehicle to help prevent somebody from being hurt or hurting somebody else. Jason. New developments in the Manchester bombing investigation. Just before three this morning, Manchester police announcing they've arrested three people in connection with the terror attack. And it comes as the prime minister warns of another possible attack and the country's terror threat level set at its highest. Now the London tabloid, The Sun, publishing you can see right here the, the headline, Pure Evil, with the first reported picture of the bomber, Salman Abedi. And we're also finding out more about the 22 people killed and the dozens others injured. Here are the faces of some of the victims here. Just this morning, we found out that 15-year-old Olivia Campbell was killed. Now, she was so excited when she called her mom during the concert. She was waiting for Ariana to come on, and she was so happy. Um, and she thanked me and said she loved me and that was the last I heard from her. Georgina Callender was the first to be identified. She's right up here. She's a big Ariana Grande fan. Of course, the youngest killed. You see her picture down here below. That is Safi Ruzos, uh, eight years old. These heartbreaking images have made her really the face of this tragedy. And we've also learned this morning that Martin Hett was killed right here on the bottom. Now, he was separated from his friends right at the end of the show. Can you imagine that? Just separated 
for that split second changed everyone's life. Many people still missing, a lot of parents still looking for their children, Virginia. And holding out hope yeah. that maybe they were injured and taken to a hospital. Now to a crime alert. Police are looking for this man. Try to take a good look. We're going to give you a little bit better view here. They say he's on the run after trying to kidnap a girl from the campus of Southwestern College. The 16 year old girl was taking a shortcut home from Bonita Vista High when a white truck, that one, pulled up next to her. Police say the driver offered her $200 to get in the front seat with him. As she started to walk away, she says he blocked her path, then got out of the truck and grabbed her. She managed to pull free run away and call police. Here in the 10 News Live Center, President Trump met with Pope Francis at the Vatican for the first time. We have new video here of their meeting. They met privately for about 30 minutes and they also exchanged gifts publicly. The president giving the Pope books by Martin Luther King Jr. The Pope gave Trump a medal inscribed with an olive branch. Now the two have clashed on immigration issues in the past, including the controversial border wall. However, President Trump called meeting the Pope a great honor. I'm Melissa Messia, Jason Virginia, back to you. All right, Mel, thank you very much. Even though the president is overseas, plenty going on on the Hill. Capitol Hill live look this morning. We are monitoring a big deadline today. The Congressional Budget Office will release its score for the GOP health care bill. It looks at predicted government savings and how many people could lose their coverage under the GOP health care bill. A bad review could kill it altogether. The little boy seriously hurt in a hit and run crash is finally home in his own bed. We have been following Lennox Lake's progress since the crash earlier this month. And take a look. This photo taken just before Lennox left the hospital yesterday. He has a smile on his face playing with a doggy. Oh. He and his family were on their way home from Disneyland when police say Constantino Banda slammed into the family's car. Banda had been deported at least 15 times before that. Lennox family say they're keeping a close eye on him, and as you would imagine, they want to make sure his head injury doesn't become infected. Welcome home to Lennox. I know, he looks great. 607 now. So new this morning, city and business leaders are coming together today to kick off six months of fun to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the gas lamp. And 10 News reporter Jim Patton is right in the thick of it there in the gas lamp district, and uh, so much rich history there to celebrate, Jim. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're going back now 150 years. Celebration officially kicks off this morning with a press conference at 10, but there'll be a big block party called the Wild West Wednesday block party that starts at 5. It's going to be along Island Avenue between 4th and 5th. That's free and open to the public. There's going to be live country music, also a chance to win tickets to the fair because it's part of a celebration to kick off the fair, which starts in less than 10 days. Now, we talked about throughout the morning how rabbits are a big part of this celebration of the 150th celebration or anniversary because this used to be known as Rabbitville. There were so many rabbits way back when. Uh, they're going to unveil painted rabbits this morning, but also the restaurants over the next six months are going to be involved in a competition to develop the quintessential dusty rabbit drink. That's what they want to call it. So I asked you guys earlier, what do you think, what libation comes to mind that should be part of a drink called the dusty rabbit? It's got to have carrot juice in it. <laughs> I mean, it's a rabbit drink, right? right? Is Anything carrot juice else? a libation? Well, no, it's when you have <laughs> to mix some things together. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What else, Jason? Yeah, I did. That didn't come to mind. I think you're right on, Virginia. I think it does have to have carrot juice. Now that you mentioned it, I was thinking about it, also trying to think a rabbit thing, right? And I thought, well, it's got to have scotch, as in hopscotch, right? Oh. Rabbit. <laughs> so maybe scotch. Carrot juice? Scotch, that, sounds, that sounds carrot terrible. Carrot juice. And <laughs> then... Sounds... It, and it's got to be it's got to be dusted. So maybe a little uh, pepper on, the, you know, some kind of a red pepper on the top. Very Southern yeah. California for the dusting of the of the drink. But we'll find out what they come up yeah. with. And right. social media will decide which one oh. becomes the quintessential oh, dusty. Rabbit. All right. Jim Patton live in the gas lamp this morning. Thank you very yeah. much, because if there's one thing the gas lamp loves, it's libations. There we go. No doubt about it. Hey, so it's time for our one thousand dollar grand giveaway. We're giving away one thousand dollars right this minute. And today's your last chance to win. Get your phone out. Take a look at some of the winners so far this month as inspiration because you could end up like they did. Time to call. 
Let's put the number on the screen. It's 619-237-6370. Tenth caller wins $1,000. Good luck. And thanks for playing all this yeah. this whole month I for everybody. And, and yeah, I wish everybody had a chance to win. Everybody who dialed that number. So we'll let you know. Yeah, we loved meeting all the people yeah. that won as well. So right now we are dealing with some fog and marine layer clouds just like the last couple of days. Coronado, no fog here, but it is very cloudy. You can see the clouds up above the ground, though. Not the case everywhere, though. Visibility, the smaller the number, the worse it is. So we're about two and a half to three miles in Escondido, Vista, Carlsbad, Poway, Kearney Mesa, El Cajon, and Chula Vista. So Fallbrook, it's just bad there. Visibility just about half a mile. It is going to be a sunny one inland this afternoon, but we will see some stubborn clouds along our beaches. 60s with a few 70s along the coast and mostly in the 70s for our inland valleys, but a few 80s like Ramona and Alpine. It's going to be even cooler tomorrow and Friday, and I'll pinpoint when we could see even a little rain in about eight minutes. Kalina?